I am the shadow teacher. And once again, this channel is dedicated to truth, the exploration and the experience of knowing, feeling and embodying truth. And this channel is dedicated to exploring human potential. And exploring both of these concepts, we also have to look at what gets in the way. And one of the cognitive biases of humans that can sometimes get in the way of understanding and seeing truth or taking on practices that contribute to one developing their own potential is that of social proofing. So social proofing can be demonstrated in a situation where we have popularity, where we have the masses that ex simply accepts an idea and embraces an idea as true and per perpetuates it where it may not be so. And social proofing also comes when we give more credence to the opinions of people who have prestigious titles that are rewarded in the culture we live in with prestige through a certain title that they have earned and have gotten respect for and earned these credentials in the world we live in. But a fancy title, a prestigious title that society values does not necessarily mean that particular individual is all-knowing, that they're an all-knowing oracle, and that everything they say is true. And in fact, many people who have fancy titles may not be motivated by truth. They may not look at an absolute transcending truth, and all permeating truth is valuable. They may value money. They may value the adulations that is bestowed upon them by culture that their title and their position earns. And when one values these above truth, and then I would say that their opinions or, their, or, or what they are saying always needs to be addressed with a critical eye. And again, the blindness of social proofing, when we simply take a belief because everyone says it's true, everyone's doing it, or because someone with a fancy title is telling us to do it, telling us to believe a certain way, then if we take that on ourselves, and whatever that thing is that's being presented to us by the masses or by this individual or certain individuals with fancy titles and positions, then we become part of the problem if we are people who value truth, if we're, we start perpetuating lies, we per, start perpetuating narratives that may not be based on truth at all. And again, I know plenty of people with fancy titles who have been highly rewarded for a very narrow type of thinking that earned them their titles. And I think they're total morons. Maybe not total morons. They, they have things that are good, but they're, they're things that I know that I've experienced to be true and have been able to see that these people are just not able to see because their mind has gone down such a narrow pathway and they don't see beyond it. And, and some of these people are the most gullible people that I've ever encountered. And hence I have to, again, not throw the baby out with the bathwater, but just not take everything they say as gospel. I need to always examine what these types of people say. And we also have, too, sometimes what, what you call the halo effect. When someone, this we see a lot with celebrities, people who are rewarded 
in society who are celebrated for their title or for their position. People think that they are angelic, that they are above humanity and somehow their opinions should be valued over anyone else's. But again, these people we put that halo effect on, what they, be, what, what they may be presenting to us may not necessarily be true. It may not necessarily be of any value whatsoever if you are one who values truth and embodying and exploring your own human potential. So this goes back to the lesson, once again, of discernment and learning to know what truth is, what it feels like, what it sounds like, and be able to separate these other things like social proofing, prestige from a title, from a position in society, from the actual truth. And it gets really challenging again when the masses and those who have fancy titles, those who are celebrated by social status, when they're all pushing something, they're pushing a narrative that goes against truth and you are one who is standing for truth, and you make the decision to stand up for truth, then there are some unpleasant consequences in the present when, when you encounter that type of resistance, because you will encounter great resistance. But what I can say, if you choose to stand for truth when the masses are doing the opposite, when certain individuals with fancy titles and high positions are doing the opposite, then you are a, you hold on to your self-respect, and that is priceless. You keep your self-respect, and you become a conduit for something bigger, something bigger than society, something bigger than a temporary thing that is going to pass. And that being said, be strong, be well. I wish you connection with the truth. I wish that you know the truth and are able to discern the truth from lies and be strong enough to stand for the truth even when it's not popular to do so. I'm ending this transmission and I'll see you on the other side.